Jim's investment is increasing by 4% each year. If his initial investment is $1,000, determine the following. Okay, so let's think about this. So he has $1,000. Every year, it grows by 4%, and then 4% more, and then 4% more. So remember the way this works, is if you take a percent of a small number, right, and you, then you add, now your number is a little bigger. Now when you take 4% of that bigger number, you're gonna get more that you add. And so as his money grows every year, he's going to earn more and more interest. So this is clearly going to be exponential growth, right? He's starting at $1,000. He's earning 4% interest every year, but every year that means he's earning more and more money. The more money he has in the bank, the bigger his interest is. Does that make sense? All right, so let's think about what the equation would be. So every year he's going to have 100% of what he had plus an extra 4%. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with his $1,000. So this is his amount of money, let's say Y. We're gonna start with $1,000. He's gonna start with his 100%, which is the same as one in decimal land. And then I'm gonna add 4%, which is 0.04 in decimal land. And I'm gonna do that each year, okay? So I should have written that over here. And if you want, you can combine one and plus 0.04 and just rewrite it as 1,000 times 1 1.04 to the x. Remember, that's like multiplying by 104% each year. All right, so if I want to figure out how much money he's going to have after one year, I'm going to put a one there, okay? You can do this in your calculator, or you can think, let's see, 4% means four for every 100. So he has 1,000, so that's going to be 40 extra dollars so it should be $1,040 after one year. Okay, does that make sense? The total value of his investment after two years, well, I can do 1.04 raised to the two, right? Again, you can always think of that as that's 1,000 times 1.04 times 1.04 again. Right? So you're taking 4%, and, sorry, you're multiplying this by 104% twice, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my calculator. And uh, that's gonna give me $1,081.60, I hope. Reading glasses out. Yes, that looks reasonable. Okay, how much is he going to earn after three years? Well, I think you're getting the pattern now. I'm gonna replace that exponent with a three and go from there. The second one, there are initially 200 students participating in the annual math tournament at New Paltz High School. After each round, 10% of the students are eliminated leaving 90% to compete in the next round. Okay, so let's, this is not gonna be exponential growth, this is gonna be exponential decay, or a percent decrease, right? A percent decrease. So every round, my 100% loses 10%. So I have 90% of what I had, 90% of what I had, 90% of what I had. When I have a lot of people, and I'm cutting 10%, I'm gonna lose a lot of people. As I have fewer and fewer people, that 10% is gonna be fewer and fewer people. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's think of what my general equation is. You can always start with your starting value, and you can always think about your 100%, and then what you're losing. I'm losing 10% each round. Well, 100% minus 10% is 90%.
and 90% in decimal land is 0.9 to the x, okay? Or you could do the little trick that we talked about for exponent, uh, sorry, for percent decay, or percent decrease, I should say. It's one, which represents the 100%, minus the percent that you are losing. 10% in decimal land is 0 0.10, or just 0 0.1 to the x. All right, so if I'm using this equation, y equals my starting value times 1 minus 0 0.10 to the x, well, now that x is going to be after one hour, and I'm going to be finding 200 times 0.9. Okay, does that make sense? And I think that means I'm going to have 180 students left after one hour. Okay? How many students are left in the competition after two rounds? Well, now that I have my model, and I can write it like this or like this. I'll just write 0.9 to the x. I'm going to put a 2 in where that x is. So that's 200 times 0.9 times 0.9 again. Let's review how to put this in your calculator. 200 times 0.9 and a little carrot. 2 is going to be 162 students. Now C says write an equation representing the total number of students left after x rounds. Well, that's the equation that we were working with. And again, you can either write it as a 0.9 there or a 1 minus 0.10.